right now at noon, the snow keeps coming as the snow totals continue to pile up as winter storm conditions continue for the day. And boy, the holidays took a tough turn on the roads today with snow piling up and that was just in time for the morning commute. Certainly beautiful to look at, but it can be rough to navigate. We'll have the very latest look at road conditions, including an announcement from the city. And tonight, a vigil will be held for the four University of Idaho's, Idaho students murdered. Krem 2 is in Moscow and the mourning for the victims and the families continues, as does the investigation. Hi everyone and welcome to Crem2 News at Noon. I'm Laura Papetti. The inland northwest is still under a winter storm warning as heavy snow continues to fall right at this noon hour. This is one of the largest winter storms our area has seen in the past two years. Also breaking into our newsroom right now due to the ongoing heavy snow, the city of Spokane is enacting a full city plow. We were waiting for that, told it would likely happen sometime this afternoon, and it just came in. Here's a look of the current plow map that's going on right now. The city says they estimate crews will get to residential areas by tomorrow morning. The city says crews will work 24-7 until all the streets in the city have indeed been plowed. It is also important to know that due to an overwhelming number of requests, My Spokane 311 is no longer able to refer senior and disabled residents who need assistance with residential snow removal. So we'll certainly keep up on that. This afternoon, people are trying to dig themselves out after several inches of snow, of course, fell overnight. Snow plows are working to clear roads. Again, a full city plow just activated moments ago. They told Krem2 this morning that they will declare that sometime this afternoon, but again, it has come in and that means the plows can be out there 24 seven. And we do have team coverage right now at the noon hour, checking in on road conditions across the inland Northwest. And of course, checking in on all the families and the kids that are home from school today. Taking a live look outside, we begin first with meteorologist Thomas Patrick. He is in the Krem2 Outdoor Weather Center. We were just looking at downtown, the park, and Thomas, you're up here on the South Hill, and there's really no sign of the snow letting up, at least in the immediate future. Yeah, it looks like the next hour is still a solid snowfall, but we should start to clear up a little later this afternoon. But I'll tell you what, 10 minutes ago, it about snowed as hard as I've seen it all morning here at our studios. And these accumulations just continue to grow and grow. I think we had to shovel three separate occasions, our outdoor weather center set, just so we could deliver this shot to you. And if it looks a little snowy on our green screen, well, the snow is so wet now that it is actually sticking to the green screen behind me. Look at these super dark blue shades from downtown Spokane out towards Fairfield. This is some extreme snowfall where we're getting snowfall rates upwards of one inch per hour. So if it snows another hour, add another inch to the snow in terms of those accumulations. However, it is starting to lighten up, especially once you get past Reardon along Highway 2 towards Davenport. I think we are just starting to see the end of the heaviest snowfall, but winter storm warnings do continue into Thursday. A little bit of a break over Pullman, but you are surrounded on all sides by precipitations of all types. It is snow to the north and to the east, but from about La Crosse down towards Pomeroy, it has been an all rain event so far this moisture. Still watching that moisture feed from the Pacific Ocean just continue to push rain for the southern Columbia Basin, the Tri-Cities area, but it is all snow for the large majority of the inland northwest. The only areas in the all clear as of now is Omega back towards Moses Lake. You are done with the winter weather for the rest of the day today and not expecting a whole lot for tomorrow. As for Spokane, winter storm warnings continue for at minimum a little more snow, but obviously the road conditions will likely be poor all the way through Thursday morning. So that's a big reason why the winter storm warning conditions will continue into Thursday morning for some and perhaps even Thursday evening for others. So I'll have the latest in terms of snowfall reports across the region and how much longer the heaviest snow is expected to last in our region. So those details are all coming up in a couple minutes. Thomas, thank you. And it is just four minutes past noon right now. We're headed out live to Nicole Hernandez. And Nicole, you've been all over Spokane and throughout the Inland Northwest this morning. Where are you right now and what are you seeing outside? 
So Laura, right now we're at Lincoln Park and all morning long since I woke up this morning, the snow has not stopped once. It is still falling across Spokane. I brought a rule out with me this morning. I was measuring. Uh, we got up to four inches in Post Falls was the, uh, the most we saw this morning. Now we're at almost six and a half inches of snow here at Lincoln Park on the South Hill and that snow is still falling. Of course, though, that means we're having bad road conditions. So I'm going to jump in our mobile storm tracker right now and we are going to head out onto the road real quick to give you a look at what road conditions look like. Here we're on more of a little bit of a side road, not much of a main road, but all of our roads are looking like this, covered in snow. Anywhere you go, pretty much all of our main roads, arterials, all of our side roads, of course our parking lots as well. Those snow plows are trying to keep up, but the snow just keeps following, falling and coating the entire roadway in snow. So we have very treacherous, slick, slippery driving conditions and it is just coating the entire inland northwest right now. Left, right, front, back, all of it. Another place that's being affected by this snowy weather though is the airport, Spoken International Airport. Right now, their board has 14 canceled or delayed flights as of just a few minutes ago. The picture you're seeing right now is what the boards looked like just a few hours ago. You can see how many delays that were on that board. Now we're adding a couple of cancellations to the board as of the past few minutes. We were able to speak with uh, one couple or one uh, pair of people who were waiting for their friend at the airport earlier this morning. Oh, we're waiting for our friend to show up, but they, they got they had to they got turned around. Actually, there's uh, you know weather kind of sucks right now. <laughs> well, of course, we, there are some people having some fun with the weather as well. We were just out watching some kids sledding, making some giant snowmen. You might have seen the giant snowmen behind me in that first shot earlier before I jumped in the storm tracker. Uh, but either way, if you do have to be out on the roads today, make sure you're going slowly, leaving room between you and other people. And ultimately, if you can, try to avoid the roads altogether. In Spokane, Nicole Hernandez, Crump 2 News. Nicole, thank you very much. And the kids are certainly enjoying the day off. Many of them, of course, home from school today. Uh, the drivers, not as much. We go now to Crumtoo's Tim Pham. Tim has been outside all morning long on those messy roads. Lots of accidents out there, Tim. And one took a snowplow out of service, at least for some time. Yeah, it, it did, Laura. And, you know, that causes a big problem for WashDOT and really any agency that runs different snow plows throughout our region because they need every single one of those plows to deal with a storm like this. We're in downtown Spokane right now on Riverside and uh, Lincoln. You can see, look at the road right now. You can see they came, went over this area at least once, but this thick stuff right here, it's making it difficult for cars that are maybe a little bit lower to the ground. We've seen people out here with shovels having to dig their cars out of the roadway here in downtown Spokane. But this is something that we're experiencing all over. WashDOT telling us that they began working as early as 3 a.m. removing the snow, but they pre-treated the roads last night even, and they have not stopped. They essentially are working in 12-hour shifts right now to make sure that all of our interstates and highways are A-OK. -okay. But earlier this morning, as you mentioned, Laura, we're told that uh, Sir plows a lot one of the plows from WashDOT was hit by a vehicle traveling way too close. Unfortunately, we actually just had a plow strike uh, on the North Spokane corridor near Farwell Road. Uh, one of our plows was plowing and a driver was going too fast, tried to pass and clipped that plow. So now we are unfortunately down wow. a plow because of this incident. And new at noon, new at noon here, we're told that Sir Plows a Lot is actually back in service, which is good news, of course, because with a storm system like this, it's not just plowing over the interstates and freeways once. It's going to take multiple times. And that was something that both the county and the city of Spokane told us that they were going to have to focus on those priority one areas multiple times in a situation like this. So again, Laura, we're going to keep following this all afternoon. You can keep watching uh, Creme 2 News at noon and Creme 2 First Step for for the latest team coverage on this snowstorm. Laura. Uh, Tim, thanks to you and the Up With Creme crew. Uh, they worked very hard this morning. And so we saw the South Hill. We saw downtown. And now let's talk about North Spokane, also expecting over a foot of snow. Creme 2's Nathan Hyun is live right now with road conditions at this hour. And Nathan, where are you exactly and what are you dealing with in terms of the roads? 
Yeah, Laura, we're here in Deer Park right now, and the snow has picked up a lot since even when we got here about an hour ago. And since that time, we've seen another two inches of snow added. And we thought that it wasn't going to be too busy up here, but even in this lot, there's been a lot of cars driving through. This coffee shop right here has been pretty busy with cars driving and getting coffee. And on Highway 395, you can see just how much snow is on the road. We did some plows. We did see some plows, but with just the amount of snow coming down, cars were moving at almost 40 miles per hour. And fortunately, we didn't see any spin outs or crashes either. And as we were driving north to Deer Park, about five miles south of Deer Park, we saw an, about a foot of snow, and that's when the road started to get less plowed. And also the visibility got a lot lower as we started to drive more north. Live in Deer Park, Nathan Hun, Krem 2 News. All right, Nathan, we appreciate your reporting. Be very careful out there. I love that you picked to be in front of a coffee shop because people need their coffee regardless of what the weather is like. So uh, be very, very careful, you and the crew. And today's winter storm has forced a candlelight vigil in honor of the four University of Idaho students killed to be moved inside. It'll be held at the Kibbe Dome. Tonight, the Moscow community will come together and remember the lives of the four people who were murdered. And of course, um, as they all collectively try to grapple with the tragedy um, and honor the families as well. The vigil will begin tonight. At 5 o'clock, Krem2 News will be streaming the vigil on Krem.com, the Krem2 YouTube channel, and also on Krem2 Plus. So again, tonight, the candlelight vigil will go on. It will be held at the Kibbe Dome. It is coming up on just 12 minutes past noon right now. And tonight, we are continuing to track the severe winter storm rolling over the inland northwest. Coming up after the break, we are going back out live to check on the road conditions all across our area as snow continues to fall at this noon hour. We'll be right back.